What is going on guys? Dustin here with a another NASCAR diecast review. This is one of the classic cars that I'm gonna do. And the questions you're asking ask me are are why did I take long to do a NASCAR diecast review? Well I simply did all the video all my videos and you know I decided you know what? Take a break for a while. And the good news is also, I got a lot of cars on on pre-orders, so keep a lookout for those videos soon. But today, we are taking a look at 1997 Chevy Monte Carlo, oh, Budweiser. Ricky Craven, Chevy Monte Carlo. Sorry, I'm watching a Kentucky race. Uh, golly, Logano and Kyle Busch are just, oh my freaking goodness. They're racing it hard. These cars. Now, the question is, where I got this at is, I got this at a yard sale in town. I got it for a very good deal. It was uh, originally 25 but I got it for 12 50 About half off, which is pretty cool. This is part of the Arrival Collection Club. And they are sequently numbered. And this is what these uh, big boxes look like. And this is actually the first time I'm ever reviewing a Ricky Craven diecast car too, so that's pretty cool. And here's a certificate of authenticity with a Rebel Collection hologram. This certified that this 124 scale diecast replica of the 1997 Budweiser Chevrolet Monte Carlo, driven by Ricky Craven, is one of the 1,596 sequently numbered Rebel Collection Club replicas. So, this is what the car looks like. On the inside, you get this a removable case, which I'm actually good. Take out. And it does with a come with a removable display stand, but the problem is there's a sticker right here that says removable of this tape and screw will destroy the collectability of this product. Do not attempt to try to remove tape or screw. Well, I'll I don't think we already done that. Cause I actually want to do a review of this car. Now, I think I have my. There it is. So we're gonna go ahead and take the car off the stand. My disregarding the uh, sticker's wish, cause. Sorry if my. Sorry if there's so many shadows in here. I'm trying to work with what I have. There goes one screw. Now, these are basic fill-up heads, which means you can easily take these off with anything. As long as you got a fill-up screwdriver. And it basically just comes right up. There's a car. Let me reposition myself. That way you can be able to see it. Of course, I got these pillows in the way, so basically I was unprepared doing it. Here is the num Ricky Craven Budweiser Chevy Monte Carlo. And I'm not going to lose original screws so I just threw them and oh my god 
And I just noticed right off the bat was that plastic got mel melted due to the rubber tires. And that's usually normal if you have the pla plastic display stand. So I got something like that. There's Ricky Craven's signature down here in gold. So, I might as well review it up here. Anyway, like it's a pedestal. So, this car is based off the 1997 Chevy Monte Carlo. We go from the front to the back, as always. Here's the front. You see where they. And I like the fact that this. The front is actually pointed out compared to the Camaros. Let's take this Chase Elliott car for example. It's actually much more pointed out than the Camaro, so I think that's how they got the idea. Well, let's take a look from the size. Got all the smaller contingency sponsors Western Auto, Plastic Coat. Edel Brock, Mogs, Unicall 76, Mac Tools. No more here. There's Ricky Craven's name up on the uh, name rail of the A pillar. A plastic window net of 25. We got AC Delco, Hendrick Motorsports. Budweiser, GMAC, which is now Ally Financial, being driven for, being sponsored by Jimmy Johnson. Pedigree, I think that's Haas Automation. Haas CNC, which is now Haas Automations. Slick 50, Quaker State. We also got Bud on the back. We also have pedigree up on the deck lid. And I did say this is number to 1,596. We actually got die cast number 48. There's the other side, which is basically the same thing. Got the bottom, the chassis. It's got no shocks movement, which is basically you know understandable for Ravel. They got the steering function. Tires take a little bit of a hard time to roll. With the rear rear tires move. Move alright. The front tires and oh Bubba Wallace went around. And there goes that lead for Joey Logano. Yeah, watching a NASCAR race while doing a diecast review. That's amazing. The hood opens, which back then, the hood all only opens, but you don't have the, uh, the opening deck lid and the, and the opening roof flaps while well. Like what we have in today's diecast car standards. Now these days, with the newer cars, 2018 and just recently 2019, especially for the ARCs, is the opening hood and roof flaps. Elites get all of the elites get everything. Here is the engine. And we got Bud in the uh, Y outline, which is very hard to see because it's dark under there. This car overall is amazing. First time I ever done a Ricky Craven review. Here's the inside. It's a little bit hard to see in there. There's not a whole lot of light on this side, and there's basically not a whole lot of light from where I'm actually video recording. So, 
expect to see more of these uh, classic cars, you know, being uploaded. So if you actually like classic diecast cars, that's awesome. So. I anyway, mean, I hope you all like this review. Leave a comment, subscribe for more NASCAR diecast reviews. I'm sorry. Now, my previous two uploads are not normally what I usually upload on YouTube, but if y'all like those, you know, that's awesome. If not, oh well. I try, I try to put more, try to put more content out. So, anyway, my name is Dustin, and I will see you guys later.